Hi everyone, welcome to Sobel DIY. I often have people reach out and ask me how I made this scale when it's featured in some of my other videos as a display piece. And I made this before I had my channel, so I didn't film making this. So I thought it might be helpful for you if I explained and did a breakdown on how I made this and kind of go over the materials and the process. So let's get into a list of the materials. Starting with the T-shaped body, um, all I did for this was I found this hand towel rack at a Goodwill and it's just one of the T-shaped hand towel racks and I didn't have to do anything to it other than paint it and hang the pieces onto it. But you can find these on Amazon or places like Ross or even at thrift stores. So that's all I did for that. For the hanging portion of this, I went to Dollar Tree and in the springtime of the year, they usually have these plant hanging kits in the gardening section. And what I did is I bought two of them and then I shortened them to all only be about eight lengths in each of the chains. The bowls I used for this project came from Dollar Tree also, and they are the smaller bowls that come in the pack of two for a dollar, and they're very thick and sturdy plastic, so they were great for this project, and I'm not sure these are the same ones that I'm showing on the website, but they do just come together in a pack of two for a dollar. To create the holes for the chains, I used a drill and a drill bit and I just did a triangle marking to ensure that the three chains would support the bowl evenly and I just went around right under the rim of the bowl and made uh, the three holes for the chains to hook into. For the decor in the bowls, I just from Dollar Tree got a pack of the two terracotta clay pots and I painted them white on the outside and inside and then I used my Cricut to create the Ray Dunn style font for the decals and just wrote grow and bloom and then I also got from Dollar Tree some of their little moss stones um, the ones that look like the little moss balls and I just placed one in each of the terracotta pots. For the chipped enamel looking paint, uh, if you're a follower on my channel, then you know that I've done this technique really often and I show that it can be very versatile and you can use it on almost any project and it's very, very easy to do. So if you would like to learn how to do that style painting technique, it is available in several videos here on my channel. And lastly, when putting it together, I just used hot glue to stabilize so that the chains didn't swing around up there at the top. So I've admitted to having a problem with scales in the past and I really enjoy making them. And this one is featured here on my channel if you would like to learn how to do it. And of course you could do any painting technique on that style of scale. And these are some more scales that I've done, but I didn't film them because it was before I had a channel. So if you have uh, enjoyed this, I hope you found this helpful and it answered all your questions. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me so you can be notified when I upload fun, affordable farmhouse DIYs like these. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.